There are two different ways of finding the moments of a uniform AB random variable. The first way is to take the derivatives of the moment generating function, which was derived on the previous slide. The second way is to use the definition of the expected value. On this particular slide, we will use the definition of the expected value. So you know that mu, which is the expected value of x, we're finding the first moment here, the general formula for this will be the integral from minus infinity to infinity of x times f of x dx. Again, integrals because we have a continuous distribution here. But for the uniform distribution, we integrate over the support, which is the integral from a to b, of x multiplied by the probability density function for the uniform ab distribution, which is 1 over b minus a. Now the 1 over b minus a is just a constant, so when we integrate x, we get x squared divided by 2, and that will be evaluated from a to b. And when you plug in b, you get b squared. When you plug in a, you get a squared in the numerator divided by twice b minus a. And you recognize that numerator is the difference of two squares. So that can be written as b minus a times b plus a. And here the two b minus a's will cancel. And you will get b plus a divided by 2. And usually that is written as a plus b divided by 2. And that should come as no surprise because if you look at the probability density function, of the uniform a b distribution it is a symmetric probability density function around the midpoint of a and b and that midpoint of course is just going to be the average a plus b divided by 2. So that takes care of the first moment on the next slide we're going to move on to the second third and fourth moments. So to find the population variance sigma squared, which is the variance of x, the defining formula, not the shortcut formula in this case, but the defining formula is the expected value of x minus mu squared. So that x minus mu squared will go in front of the probability density function 1 over b minus a. Notice that mu has been replaced with a plus b over 2. That is integrated over the support. Now the details are being left out, but if you work that integral, you will eventually get b minus a squared divided by 12. Since the probability density function is symmetric, the population skewness will be the expected value of x minus mu cubed divided by sigma, and that will be 0. And furthermore, the population kurtosis turns out to be 9 fifths, which is 1.8 and we have seen that 1.8 come up in the past with some of the discrete distributions. The Apple code here in this case, x gets set equal to a uniform random variable with parameters a and b, and if you type in mean, variance, skewness, and kurtosis of x, out will come the mean, variance, skewness, and the kurtosis.